you all right jose monkey can you find me you asked me to figure out where this video was recorded so i did hi I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. This was a fun one, guys. I had an idea about what kind of place this was right away, but I wasn't sure where. Check it out. The video is about 15 seconds long. All right, Jose Monkey, can you find me? So what can we see? Right away, we can see that this person is at a festival or a carnival of some kind. We can see some tents and these stalls here. And there are a few signs, but most of them are difficult to read. I was pretty sure that this one on this tent here said henna body art or something like that. And we can see that this one says medallion. The general styling of some of the banners and tent flaps that we see here was giving like medieval heraldry. Like I think this has like an embattled edge. And I think this edge is engrailed or maybe it's invected. I don't know. If you understand this stuff, please tell me in the comments. Anyway, the point is, I feel like the styling was suggesting that maybe this was a Renaissance festival. And the fact that we have these permanent looking structures here tells me that this is probably one of the bigger festivals and one that's been going on for a while. A few other specific things I noted in the video, these yellow fences or railings here. Also, these blue kind of staircase looking things. I also made a note of this big old tree that we see here and also these very colorful tents. Okay, so I figured I would start by looking at some of the bigger Renaissance festivals. Also, based on the date when this was recorded, which I'm sorry to say was like a year ago, I knew that this was probably a festival that happened in late summer. But guys, that didn't really help too much because it seems like most Renaissance festivals are held at that time of year. Anyway, I started looking at... <laughs> what are you doing? Come, good sir. We should set out on our quest before the hour grows late. Chen, why are you wearing that? I thought you said we were doing the Renfest today. Oh. No, buddy, I meant the video. I'm doing a Renaissance Festival video today. Oh, my bad. All right. Don't worry, we'll find a Renaissance Festival. I'll take you. Wait, really? Hey, anything for you, man. Okay, so I found a listing from the Travel Channel of what they called the best Renaissance festivals in the U.S. So I started going through the ones in that list and looking for photos or videos or anything I could find to see if I could match them to what we see in the video. But I wasn't finding anything to really help me confirm which one this was. One of the festivals in that list was the Minnesota Renaissance Festival. When I saw this photo, I wondered if the fence that we see in the video is fencing off a jousting track like the one we see in this photo. So I started looking for more information about that particular festival and I found a video from the festival that was held in 2022. That video is 12 minutes long and shows all sorts of different things. I was hoping maybe it would show the jousting tournament, which would help me figure out whether or not it matched what we see in the video. And guys, I was not disappointed. About five minutes in, we see some jousting and right away I saw several of the landmarks from the video. I'll show you those in just a minute. But guys, that was it. You are here at the Minnesota Renaissance Festival in Shakopee, Minnesota. Okay, check it out. The video shows the jousting tournament and the view is from the other side of the jousting track, the opposite side of what we see in the video. So from right to left, we have this red tent and the maroon and gold sign that we see in the video, that sign that says medallion and the embattled banner, the henna body art tent, and that big old tree. Figuring out precisely where to put the pin in the map was a little bit tricky. Fortunately, Google Maps has a very detailed 3D view of this spot. Using that, I was able to see the buildings from the video, also the jousting track, and the henna body art tent. And here's that big old tree, which tells me that you emerged from right over here somewhere. By the way, I learned that those blue staircase type things that we see in the video are used for mounting camels and elephants and things like that. Guys, I'm sort of bummed about this one because if I had managed to get this one done a few days ago, then I would have been able to tell you that the Minnesota Renaissance Festival is happening right now. But I think it just ended. That's probably for the best though, because if I had done that, you know there'd be people in the comments trying to say that this is an advertisement, which to be clear, it is not. Okay, it's time to check which previous location was closest to this one. This time it was in season one, episode 157 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's about 24 miles or 38 kilometers away from the spot. If anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, find me Jose Monkey or something like that on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video. Yo, you think they still got those smoked turkey legs? I don't know. Maybe. I like those.